kitchen is going to look so different next time you see it. My name is Jonathan. I've got four kids, Amelia, Edie, Alessia, and Andrea. And this is my diary of a dad. It's Friday morning, and I'm not going to do something in a dog garden today, dog room today, because something really exciting is happening next week to this kitchen. But what I'm going to do today is what I want to do before they get here is remove this. Unfortunately, I cannot remove the actual pillar because it's a load bearing pillar, but I can remove the tiles because we are, we're going a bit anti tiles, lads. Probably going to eventually move all the tiles from here and then from in here. So here's a little before, this is what it looks like. I got my tool ready. First tile removed. Now I'm going to try and do this like a surgeon ah, because you see under here, see we're looking for, there's the plaster. Right, and then we're gonna try and just very gently take off the actual uh, plant, the actual like adhesive that's here because I really want, I do not want to damage the plaster at all. So careful, oh, see what I mean? That is perfect. You just got these little guys to take off. Not great here in this corner part, but I don't think I damaged that because I didn't see any plaster come off here, but that would not be too hard to fix uh, because I have the plaster repair stuff. Ah, but this is, that's perfect. Nice and soft and smooth. We're getting somewhere. Uh, definitely helps that I learned so much stripping out that other room that this is a lot easier to get through because I know how to get them off the wall better. I've got the right tools. You know, when I started in the other one, all I basically had was this chisel and a hammer. And it taught me. I learned as I went along. So now we're, uh, we're getting through this nice and quickly. I put a tail down here, so that any of the tiles that actually fall uh, will actually land here and not actually damage underneath. We have just been to the tool station. We got ourselves some new scraper blades because I've ran through them all. We also got this guy here. Uh, uh. Let me show you. Ah, line and paper. So this is what we're gonna do, we're gonna, oi! Flag in here! Do you remember that, Shay Tards? I'm vlogging in here! Except it was more in Shay's tone. But yeah, uh, Wall Rock Fiber Liner Original, 1506. I got a big, heavy duty, super luxury one because the walls are pretty brutal and I want it to look perfect. So the thicker the tread, like a, like a, like a mattress, you know, or a duvet cover, you know, the thicker the tread, the more thingies. Anyway, so let's bring this home and let's smash this up. All right, we're back. We have put new scraper blades in and we have cleaned down. And this is what she looks like now, which automatically I think is better, even with the plaster. And uh, next thing we're gonna just put this absorbing paper up here. You see it's really thick. And I kind of like, you see how thick it is? You can kind of see if we can, uh, you can kind of see how thick it is. It's got like, it's just grew, it's kind of hard to tell on the camera. I don't know how to show you, but you just gotta trust me then. <laughs> but it's really thick and it'll, um, it'll, it'll allow for any like small imperfections like this on the wall. It'll be able to absorb them in and like make the wall perfect. And then you can paint over it. And it'll look fantastic. I could paint directly onto this, but it will be a lot of work. And plus the paint will show up like every single little groove, unless I went and replastered it, which I couldn't be bothered doing. The thing right now about this is that it's so hot that it's actually, <laughs> I don't have a lot, I don't have a small window when I was in the office, it wasn't as hot. So I had a much longer window of how long it took for the actual paste to blend in now or like melt in because you can see it should say purple until i put the paint on but because of the temperature outside it's currently uh late 20s here it's actually you can see it's already going white on me i'm like no okay we've done five layers that looks pretty good though right look at that we've got five layers on so far um i've got some paste on that side and the other side but that looks like pretty good doesn't it like blends in nicely now I'm thinking I might just paint it white because it actually looks really good with the rest of the house. It doesn't like stand out. It looks like it's supposed to be like that. Anyway, five down. 
Uh, it's still slightly see-through, but you can see the corners because I keep lapping them over. As you can see, I'm just about to do another layer on this side again. Um, I've gone over it five, so it be six, seven. I just keep on going until I feel like it's completely perfect, matte white, and no marks on it. How good is that? Huh? That looks pretty solid. I was just making my lunch. I almost forgot to do this end clip for you guys. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't this a thing of beauty? Whoa, you feeling dizzy? Woo, I certainly am. I've impressed myself once again. Welcome to the kitchen project. This is going to be a good one because this has annoyed me for over five years, ever since the kitchen arrived here and they start putting up all the cupboards and I realized that in the showroom, the tone looks different in the kitchen. And when we mow all them in here and we had the gray walls and the gray and the white, all of a sudden the cupboards and everything looks sage. It was not gray, it was sage. So it's bothered me, but we are fixing it now. Which brings us to this morning. All of the doors have been removed. This was strange because I've never actually seen the fridge because when we bought the um, the units, the guys came and installed it, but they just built the whole. I've never actually seen what it looked like without the presses on it. And I was saying, Nana, you know what? It's kind of convenient. You know, you can just, you just, oh, gotta grab some pasta. Boom, got it. Huh? I don't have to like, you know, open a, open a door or anything. This could be the new to future. You know, everything's convenient. <laughs> yeah, it looks so funny, look, with all the, the things off. It's going to be like that all this week. These kind of things here, which they weren't able to take off because of presses, that's all going to be painted here. So let me explain what we're doing. We are repainting all of the cupboards in the kitchen. These are the two colors that the kitchen will be in the future. This color here, which... I'm just trying to get the light to disappear so you can see. This is going to be the color of all of the cupboards and presses over outside and around it. And then for the island, this is going to be the color of the island. Just to give it a little bit of kind of, um, I don't know, like a, like a statement piece, a centerpiece. I don't know whatever you want to call it. This will be the two colors. That's why when I did the pillar, I put the white lining paper on it, which is a nice matte finish, which actually looks really good now. And it's blended in for a few days. Um, and then we're going to decide, are we going to paint it this color or are we going to paint it this color? I'm not really sure which way we're going to go with it, but I'm going to wait till the rest of the kitchen. But this is going to be the new color palette of our kitchen. And I'm excited about that. All of these, this wood here that obviously can't be removed easily. Um, the team of guys are going to come and paint all of this here in a couple of days but right now all of the removable parts have been taken away to their studio and they're going to paint them all individually and come back here and it's all going to be done and it's going to look cool the kids are going to enjoy this tonight because andrea is going to see this as an amazing climbing frame he's just going to climb up here and grab all of the tasty treats all of the popper and silly popping what is that popping candy or something like that um, but yeah, all the good stuff is up here. You know, maybe he'll get some uh, clean, lean protein. This is the protein powder. That's the protein powder Annie uses, by the way. This is the one I use. Bear one. <laughs> anyway. So it is Thursday and we are just home from sports day. We went to school this morning at 8 a.m. And we had a sports day all day long. Too many children. But while we're gone, you might notice there's a couple of things different about the kitchen. Oh yes, we have begun. Boom, boom, boom. So as we can see here, we got some tools, but uh, the whole kitchen has turned into a Dexter kill shelter. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I just came home and I'm like, oh, I just want to get some treats. Ah, uh, ah, uh, all I want is that Kinder Bueno right there. I just want that Kinder Bueno. I can't have it. What about this Kinder? I can't have it. Can't have it. There's nothing we can have, newbies. My goodness. Look, let me just go wide. Boop. So you can get a full sense. Oh my goodness. Everything is locked away. 
Everything indeed, friends. Dogs keep going in there and getting lost. <laughs> well, yeah, this kitchen is going to look so different next time you see it. Well, not next time you see it because you're seeing it right now. But when this is completely finished, it's going to look so good. I think it will. Um, I showed you the palettes, didn't I? What we're actually dealing with. Isn't that right, Theo? Um, even the floor. Dogs are going to be busy just weeing on all the floor. Isn't that right, Nevea newbies? But yeah. It's so going to be so good. But it's going to be another probably like two days or so to actually uh, get it all done. But day one was just, you know, mopping or sorry, masking everything up. Day two, they're going to come in here with the spray machines. And they're going to actually do all the painting part of it. And day three bloop, is to actually put all the pieces back because all of these pieces have been taken to a warehouse to actually paint them properly. And uh, yeah, hopefully it's gonna look good. Hopefully. <laughs> It'd be very disappointing if it wasn't, but I think it will look good. I think it will look good. I think my post there is what really seals the deal. What do you think, Noobs? What do you think? You sold on it? You sold on it? I quite like this floor. It's Friday morning and Anna has left with all of the children. That's it. And it's left me. <laughs> no. And it's left with all the children because they're heading like to Starbucks or something because our kitchen is completely unusable. But I'm so thankful that I had set this up and done the dog room because we have a sink and everything here now, which means I'm able to do dog food. I'm able to wash things. Good morning, Evie. Because there's literally nothing. Because as you can see, there's nothing we can do. We can't use the sinks. You know, you're thinking like, oh, just... Use this perfectly good dishwasher here, Jonathan. Oh yeah, let me just so. Oh, I guess I, I can't use this perfectly good dishwasher. <laughs> so I, I I messaged him and I was like, can I make little holes to get things? So look, I made a little hole here and then I masked it up and I made a little hole here to get out a tea bag and then I masked it up again. <laughs> I made a little hole here to get out a neutral grain. I found an espresso machine was underneath that table. So I brought it to my office. That's all I've got all day. <laughs> uh, don't worry, guys. <laughs> all right, this is my makeshift plan. Look, I, got, I managed to get some Nutri-Grains out of the oven. I did a <laughs> thingy, and then I got an espresso, and then I have an espresso machine here by the office. And um, as you can see, the kitchen looks completely different, my friends. Huh? You can't worry. It's, it's kind of hard because the doors haven't come back yet, but you can see... The island looks so good, doesn't it? And so it's funny because <laughs> initially you think, but Jonathan, that looks the same. I know we don't live here. Things are different through screens. This is the gray color we painted it, okay? <laughs> but it was like, there was like a green. It was like a sagey green. And I know when I looked there, I'm like, but that looks sagey green. I know because you get the, the camera, the sensor, the way, there's, there's like basically inside a camera lens, there's a pyramid, right? A prism and the prism, which translate light changes due to the aperture and the just, it's, it's so complicated. Light in camera, that's why like a film looks different to a digital, looks different to a vlog and a TikTok and like so many things look completely different on screen. So whatever you think our house looks like, it probably doesn't look exactly like that, you know. So, you know, so because I know people be like, it looks the exact same. I'm like, I know. It's uh, it's just so much not. It's just so much like grayer, you know. It doesn't have that greeny vibe to it. But I can't wait to see what the doors look like. This was such a good idea. I'm like, let's do the whole kitchen like this. <laughs> now, if the kitchen would be too dark if we did that, you know. But it's gonna look really good. I wish if I had a little piece that he missed but then if i find a little piece that he missed i'd be kind of disappointed you know <laughs> i'm trying to find like a little bit that might have gotten forgotten so then i can actually see the original color versus the painted color but i don't think we're gonna find anything it just looks so good you know it looks like a nice like ooh, fancy kitchen you know do you know what i mean wait the doors come on tomorrow it's gonna look better it's gonna look much better when the doors are on you. You'll get a proper sense of what we're dealing with here, folks. We'll do this tomorrow with the doors. I've gone wide so we can get a full sense of what we're dealing with here. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Newbies, what you reckon? Did you give the thumbs up? Did you give it the paws up? <laughs> 
It is Monday morning, and it's Mufti day. How cool is Amelia? This she's got, is your top. I know, she's got an oversized kind of <laughs> olden days rock band thing. No one's gonna know. No, she's either. worn it for his pajama. She stole it off me a long time ago. Yep. She's kept it all these years, and she keeps like, it's a vibe. She pulls it off though. Gotta I'm gonna go. work with this thingy. Yeah, I'm afraid. But well, I'm gonna work with boots instead. Uh, more, a more mm -hmm. formal version. A more formal version. We went into London yesterday. We went to see a movie <laughs> with uh, Universal. Do you want to get a drive? Yeah. So we haven't filmed much, but kitchen looks great. The kitchen. Kitchen looks great. Do you like the kitchen? Yeah. There's just, just some kind of issue with your door. Figure it out. What could it possibly be? Ah! Nah. Now, bring us backwards, my old friend. But yeah, it was, it was a good weekend. This is the last full week of school. Yep. This is it, Amelia. You will be going into year six. Can you believe it? Little okay. Tommy T, also known as Biba, back in the day. You know the oldest, you know, um, there's a guy that's born, um, like, I don't know, a couple of days older than me. Right. He'll be the oldest in the school. I know. Because it's like the third or the second or something. I know. And then, and then, I have to be the third freaking oldest. Third oldest in the whole school. But what happens, Amelia? You go from when you're in sixth class. You know, you Just go. Knock them all down. Well, you go from like, oh, you're the tallest, you're the oldest, you're all this stuff, and then you go through the summer, yeah. and then you go into year on seven or round. first year in Ireland, and then you realize you're the smallest and tiniest in secondary school. On news round. Yeah. There were these kids that were like, oh, um, blah blah blah, enjoy it as you can. They were year six is gonna leave. And then one of them was like, you go from being the oldest to the youngest. Mm. And it's like, yeah, because I remember in, in primary school, I mean, yeah, I was like one of the tallest. And then I went through into first class or first year or year seven mm. for you. And then suddenly I was a tiny little micro. And I was like, what happened? Because during that summer, it's sad. during all the other boys, hot girl summers, where they all grew up, I was left behind. And I was like, hey. So that'll happen. You know, you gonna have a hot girl summer? Who the frat wants to do that? <laughs> you get heat stroke. <laughs> You're too hot, you get heat stroke. Do a hot girl summer. <laughs> and it is the, are, are you ready for the kitchen reveal with the doors on now? Oh, it looks fantastic. Every time I walk into the kitchen, I think to myself, it looks fantastic. You can see these behind me, but the PS de resistance is the island. It is so good. Ooh, isn't that good? Doesn't that look so nice? I was saying that I was like, our kitchen looks so much more bespoke and premium now. <laughs> I've gone wide so you can get a full sense. Um, as you can see, see again, it's probably hard to tell that you're probably thinking they look the exact same, but they don't. They're proper neutralized gray now. They don't have the yellowy sage tinge through them. Um, but isn't it, oh, it's just such a good idea doing this part in the middle. It just looks so beautiful. Do you agree with me, Nevea? I think, I think Nevea agrees. Oh, you can kind of see the color a bit better over here, I think, with the light. But isn't it, it looks so pretty. Oh, I love it. I love it. And the gray is so much, like, it's just so much more gray-like, you know? I was trying really hard to try and find a spot that the guy missed so I can actually show you the, <laughs> before, like if I could show you the difference of how yellowy that was, because initially, because you might look at it and think, what are you talking about, it's the exact same, bro. I love it, and the pillar, I haven't done any pillar, obviously, it's still, you can see now that the, uh, the paper has completely blended in, um, which at the start of the video, you probably saw me doing that. Um, which has been two weeks ago now, but you can see that the paper has completely blended in. So actually, it looks really good. It's just like perfect matte white that just blends with the wall now. So I'm like, leave it white? What do you think, guys? Do I paint it gray, drain pipe gray to go with this? Or do I give it this really light gray here? Or do we go the wall gray, this wall gray here, this one here, which is a cloudy, cloud burst, I think it was. What do you reckon? Which one do you go? Dark gray, super light gray, or wall gray? What would look good there? Or leave it white. 
you, you tell me. What do you think? What's your suggestion, bud? It's so beautiful. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this kitchen renovation video. Um, summer holidays begin next week. Um, we do have a little bit of a trip coming up and it's quite a special trip. Um, half nostalgic, special, emotional, um, first time for some people. Uh, yeah, uh, it's going to be, big, you know, bringing the, bringing us back there and you guys with us to this place. It's like, ooh, it's been a long time. It's been a long time, you know. Um, a lot of changes coming up in our life. Um, when you have children, there's like certain times in your life where you can make changes. And we are coming up at one of those points. Um, so there's going to be some, uh, there's going to be some changes in our life very shortly. Um, and I'm excited about them. And I think you will enjoy them too. But I cannot say more about it because, well, there's a lot of moving parts. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button if you want to. And, uh, and I'll see you guys uh, probably on Thursday in our next video or back here on Monday for my next video. Bye.